Welcome to my Chefin. My name is Chef Fran, and today presenting to you an old classic. It's really something that my son kind of introduced me to 10 years ago. It was a great show that he loved, um, a kid's show called iCarly, and it was Spaghetti Tacos. <laughs> So he loves spaghetti, he loves tacos, and the two can combine. And so, of course, throughout the years, I jazzed it up to be something I like too. So uh, what I'm going to do is present a kid-friendly version for you, and as well as an adult version, the upgraded version that us adults would love. So here we have our spaghetti. We have our shredded cheese. We have our pasta sauce. And of course, I always believe that veggies represents nutrition. So colors in your food represents nutrition. And since it is turkey month, we're not gonna do it with ground beef, our meat sauce. We're gonna do it with ground turkey. And I love the combination of the turkey breast as well as the dark turkey mixed together. And turkey tends to be a little bit bland, so you have to well you have to season it well. And it also tends to be a bit dry. So hence why we have our bell peppers, which will help lock in the moisture, as well as our onions, which will also help to lock in the moisture. So here we have our Montreal chicken seasoning, um, which I tend to love to use on turkey and chicken, any form of like, you know, into the poultry, maybe type of game family. We also have our smoked paprika, as well as regular paprika. Um, some fresh garlic, some cumin, some Italian seasoning, basil, parsley, garlic powder, as well as onion powder, and just something to help with the acid. For myself, I suffer at times from acid reflux, so even though I love things like tomato sauce or sometimes you know something that's a little bit um, pungent and sour, you know, like lemon, lime, I usually have to have a little form of sweetness to kind of tone it down the acid and so we have a little bit of brown sugar here to help do that and of course we have our children always on deck of Himalayan salt and black pepper and I am going to get into our vitamin content so you can have all the nutrition that's coming inside this dish so it's not just your crunchy tacos or possibly your soft tacos it's all the stuff that's going in the meat and you know, to make it all fresh and yummy and veggied up with a nice little twist from, you know, reminiscing to an old show. So maybe your children watch iCarly when they were younger, or maybe even you did. So this is in honor of my son loving iCarly when he was younger and iCarly and our adult version of iCarly up to uh, spaghetti tacos. B3, B6, B12, magnesium, niacin, phosphorus, cellulose, zinc. Montreal chicken seasoning, A, C, D, calcium, iron, potassium. Carrots, A, baby carotin, biotin, and potassium. Bell peppers, A, B2, B6, C, folate, niacin, potassium. Onions, B6, C, folate, magnesium, potassium. Garlic, B6, C, manganese, and cellulose. Cumin, a, B6, C, E, K, calcium, iron, magnesium, and phosphorus. Onion powder. B, C, calcium, iron, manganese, potassium. Garlic powder. B6, C, calcium, iron, magnesium. Basil. A, C, K, calcium, iron, magnesium, and manganese. Italian seasoning. B, C, K, calcium, iron, magnesium, and manganese. Paprika, A, B6, E, K, and iron. Parsley, A, B, C, K, calcium, iron, and magnesium. Himalayan salt, calcium, iron, magnesium, potassium. Black pepper, A, B1, B2, B5, B6, C, E, and K. Pasta sauce, A, B, C, E, K, potassium. Brown sugar, calcium, copper, iron, potassium. Spaghetti, 
be one, copper, manganese, niacin, and selenium. Crunchy taco shells, cake and zinc, cheddar cheese, D, and calcium. Real facts, food insecure households are more likely to have adults with long-term physical health problems. Also, people who are food insecure are more likely to be hospitalized. To learn more, visit us at jdhcdc.org. This is everything all mixed up together. And I'm gonna put it in our pot to cook. Okay. Cooking up. Probably need another 10 more minutes, not even seven minutes like this. Then we'll put our sauce and just kind of let it simmer. Okay, so now we're going to put our pasta sauce here. And more pasta sauce into, oops, a little messy. And that's it. We're just gonna let that simmer up, cover it, and let it simmer up for about 15 20 minutes. That's it. I have my spaghetti in here, so I don't want it to stick together. So I just keep on moving it around so it doesn't stick together. And I will add a little bit of olive oil to it only because I don't want it to stick. And so here's our spaghetti and ground beef for our spaghetti tacos. And we're gonna fill up our tacos really soon. We're gonna do our kid version. Cheese taco, and you know, children don't like complication, so it's gonna be just with some cheese and simple and plain. And then we're gonna get into the adult version. And with the adult version, we have some caramelized onions and pepper, bell, bell peppers that we did. And so we're gonna put some, you know, we gotta get our little veggies on, so we're gonna take some romaine lettuce as well. And we're gonna top it with the fanciness of ricotta cheese as opposed to sour cream because you know that ricotta goes great with pasta. And we're gonna put some regular cheese on it too. Along with some fresh grated Parmesan. because mm, we're the adults. So I told you guys that we would have our kids taco. Kids like things that are more simplistic. So this is just some nacho taco shells and regular taco shells. These are the stand and sit. So it just sits right on your plate in case you don't have that tray that makes it stand up. And it just has some cheddar cheese on top of it. I also told you I was gonna show you how to assemble it. We're gonna assemble an adult one. And so for the adult taco, we have, again, the same spaghetti with meat sauce. We have a nacho, we have a soft shell, looks like a little boat, and we have our regular taco shells. And we'll make some more jazzed up, more adult versions that we have some caramelized, onions and peppers here. Our caramelized onions and peppers. And then we topped it off with some ricotta, some ricotta cheese. And then we have some lettuce, gotta get that greenery, right? Like we're eating actual full-blown taco. 
And we have our cheese, our cheddar cheese here. And then we have some fresh grated Parmigiano Reggiano cheese. And then we have a chest to jazz things up, as we love to do here in Mount Sheffin. We have some colored tortilla strips. Blue, red, and white, like our flag. So, this is what we have for the adults. We're gonna make, I'm gonna show you how to make the adult one over here. We're gonna put it on our kids. Or we could just do the kids one, that's fine too. And have three, three and three on each plate. But I'll explain how to do the adult. You just use your top of the cheese. So here we have our taco shells. And we're gonna take our spaghetti. Okay. Put it right here in our taco shell. Make sure it all can fit. Okay. Okay, and now we're gonna put our cheese on here. Okay, my cheese is so I always think your hands are your best tools. It seems like it's melting a little bit here. So I'm getting some droppings. Alright. So this is how you end your, your kids taco. Now, if you want to continue and do the adult version, you would take this and you would then add your caramelized onions on top of it, your um, ricotta, your actual, I'm sorry, your caramelized onions, and it's just to your preference and order how you might feel more comfortable, but caramelized onions and peppers, um, some lettuce on top of it, then some ricotta cheese, and then some Parmigiano Reggiano, and then your tortilla strips. So this would be how you assemble it together. Now, let's get into the tasting. Ooh, mm. Okay, I'm gonna go with the nacho. Now, as you know, even tacos sometimes can be so messy. This here, I would eat with my fork. So, should be just a little bit much more simpler eating it with my fork. Same thing that's in my hard shell, except it's a shell and you're gonna hear that crunch. This here, you would eat it with a fork and then if you want, eat your bread, you put it up to your mouth. tastes really good. Okay. Hmm. Wow. I put this up in case it falls. Oh, good. Hmm. Get cheese from the shell, the the nacho flavor. With spaghetti and meat sauce is a okay. It's so good. I'm taking another bite with all my good stuff on top. Mm. And that's when it gets a little messy. Mmm. The sweetness of the onions coming out and being caramelized. And the sweetness of the bell peppers coming out, mixed with the pasta and the pasta sauce, and the saltiness of the shell, the great contrast, so good. So we should take old things and revamp them, old shows and reboot them from iCarly, right? That's where. I got this idea from because my kid was a huge fan 10 years ago of iCarly 
and he wanted this for his birthday one year and then wanted it all the time. And I said, well, you know, we all love tacos. Sometimes we have Taco Tuesdays with our children, our spouses, you know, with our family. Why not find an elevated way of just making taco shells and spaghetti? And so I came up with this creative way to do that. Take one more bite. I am absolutely loving every bite of this. Fun, inexpensive, quick to make. Mm. Enjoyable, kid friendly, spouse friendly, significant other, contender friendly. really good. So, here's our call to action. Don't forget to click the like button by giving us a virtual hug. When you do that, that lets us know that you are enjoying what we're doing and it encourages us, the team here at Mont Sheffin, to want to come up with different things for you, to reinvent the wheel, to create a new wheel, to give you things to eat that are not just nutritionally sound, but also things that you would enjoy. And also we need a little piece of crucial information about food insecurity. And that's what we love to do here at Mount Shepherd. We like to give you knowledge, equip you, and let you make your own decisions. Thank you for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. I hope that you get to eat this virtually the next time. I mean, physically the next time as you ate it virtually with me today. If you do, or you did something different, you did the same exact thing, comment, comment below. Let us know what you did. And if you're, if you're new to watching this channel, welcome to Mom's Chefing. Be part of our family, we give you a great big hug. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And the crucial thing is to share this channel. Sharing is most certainly definitely caring. And it costs you nothing to care and to share. So we look forward to you hanging out with us again really soon. And if you hit that notification bell, you'll know the next time we upload a new, a new video. Thank you again for hanging out with us. We love you. Have a great day. Bye.